Hey everybody, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. How are you doing today? I'm not too bad. So it's been a while since I did a update on NFT Art Finance, which is Enter the Art, Enter the Audio platforms for NFTs. So I wanted to cover that in this video. So let's get started. So just before we properly start, I just wanted to explain that I'm not sponsored by NFT Art Finance. There was a comment recently asking that question or actually presuming that I was paid. I'm not paid from NFT Art Finance whatsoever and um, I do it purely as an ambassador point of view of, of being passionate about the project, which is why I like to talk about it because I'm very passionate about it. It was one of the very first dedicated music NFT platforms to exist, Enter.audio. So, you know, that was revolutionary for its time as well. And I'm still very passionate um, with, with all of the different aspects of NFT art finance. So let's continue. So the monthly recap for October, I'm very conscious that we're nearly in December, but I'm just catching up on where I left off. So they did a lot of stuff for Halloween, a lot of um, competitions, that kind of thing, merch contests as well. So there are some updates just to let you know. And I do like this. They're, they're looking at discoverability now, and it's what a lot of NFT music platforms lack is actual having discovery, um, having featured sections. And it's something that is really important as an artist myself, is that you have the chance of being discovered a lot more, whether that's via an algorithm, say social media, like TikTok, or whether it's actually being curated and featured in that respect. And this is more of the curation aspect of it. So it's so it says, in the spirit of Web3, we kicked off October by changing our featured artist system. From closed curation strictly done by Enter only, we are now inviting anyone to apply to become featured, be it artists from the Enterverse or beyond. This offers a unique chance to show your best works and lowers the bar for artists to get noticed. And that is so important for musician. If you look at Spotify, there's 100,000 songs being uploaded to Spotify every single day. How on earth is an artist supposed to get noticed these days, unless they're running thousands of pounds of Facebook ads, for example? So for me, that's why I'm very passionate about music NFTs, because they offer something very different. They offer the chance for the artist to actually get paid their worth and to actually pay the bills and to build a community. And that is what music NFTs are all about in Web3. So it also goes on to say this offers a unique chance to show your best works. We introduced the update in an announcement alongside two new application forms. So the first application form that can be clicked on is become featured. And all you need to do is just literally fill out your details, such as social media links, choose a file um, in terms of the song that you wanted to represent with yourself. So that's one way to do that. But there is also one for established artists as well. Um, pretty much the same kind of thing, also talking about exhibitions. But if you're interested in that, check out this blog post on enter.blog and then you'll find the links on the page. Also, they're obviously welcoming new featured artists. So they've had the pleasure of meeting several brilliant artists, many of whom are also active contributors in their communities, working from genres from pixel art to 3D rendering to award-winning AI and more. These artists are breathing some fresh air into the space, each in their own way. So the featured artists are Checkmate, Divine Ripper, 1984, It's Norsberg and Ridsect. And we're excited to announce even more artists to the gallery. So don't be afraid to give the application a shot if you're an artist yourself or send one of the forms over to your favorite artist friend. So that's good. They've also got the same kind of similar thing for Enter the Art for artists. So while the developers are work working towards the next big releases, bug fixes and quality of life improvements on Enter the Art, Enter the Audio and also Enter the Market, which is bringing everything together, having collection NFTs on there, collectible ones, like avatars, a collection of different avatars, maybe a hundred different types. That's all about Enter the Market. So, They've done a lot of that stuff, but also um, they're, they're looking at actually doing more small fixes in the next couple of days as well. They've got new collections on Enter.Market, which is good to see. So if I click on that, certainly Enter.Market seems a bit more vibrant at the moment compared with Enter.Art and Enter.Audio. Um, so certainly these new collections are, are you know beginning to become more popular and they're actually having floor prices now which is really cool so beans on acid for example they've got a floor price of 0 0.8 total volume 3.35 and they've got 4,000 items with 913 owners so this is actually working really well 
this platform enter.market and it's good to see. And what I can do, I can click on that co um, collection and that'll bring that open to me. I remember showing this before and there's yeah, over 4,000 items. This is the activity. So if I have a look at the activity now, you will notice that all of the recent transactions of the literally today, yesterday. So yeah, a lot of transactions in one day of people um, buying those NFTs. So that's great to see. And that's some examples that they've given there. Their actual token has turned one and a half years already at the end of September. And they've celebrated with double farm rewards that they've got and double rewards as well. So you can have a look at that at farm.enter.art if you're interested. Also in terms of the typical community updates that they do, for example, that's what I like to report on. They've now got 16,000 followers on coin market cap community, which is great. So that just helps people have visibility of that token and see if they actually want to invest. And it's not financial advice in any means. This video is just for entertainment purposes only. So Focus for November is, is actually looking at what they're doing, which is looking at the Launchpad system of Enter.Art and Enter.Audio. Now the Launchpad is where anybody can typically apply and mint on the platform. And then there's a featured section. And those two are kind of separate at the moment. So it's looking at that in terms of how that's revamped. Interestingly, education in audio formats, it's not something that everybody's au okay with, but that might be quite interesting. Um, Enter.Web3, they're not going to say anything more about that at the moment, but keep your eye out for a new edition on the Enterverse before the end of the year. They're implementing USDC and the token on Enter.Market via Avalanche and bringing Enter.Market to BNB Chain and Ethereum. So yeah, all good stuff. Looking at that, I'm really pleased to, to hear about that, actually BNB and Ethereum. That'll be really good to see. So let's have a look as well at the updates to see what has been going on since then. So they've actually launched an Enter NFT podcast, which talks a lot more about um, you know, their, their services that they offer. So this goes on to say, did anyone say enter did anyone say enter.blog in audio format? So the Enter NFT podcast is ready to rock your ears. We rounded off last month with a little teaser and they've kicked it off that the first episodes of the brand new Enter NFT podcast are now out in the open. When they launched Enter, their focus point was lowered, uh, was lowering the bar for the masses to enter the NFT space and Enter still aims to be the front runner to global crypto adoption and want to still deliver high quality and low barrier education materials on everything relating to Web3. Enter.blog, which is what I'm reporting to now, is no less than 166 articles on there, which is just great from an educational point of view. Um, and they're also now offering those articles in audio format. So yeah, podcasts are definitely a thing now, aren't they? They're a lot more popular than they used to be. Um, so yeah, it's really good. And if you're interested in podcasts, make sure you check out me and Rich on the podcasts on these previous episodes via YouTube as well. And looking at just various how they're doing this. So they've got various speakers to, to talk about it. And you can see these are the podcasts that's, that are actually on there at the moment. I don't know if they're actually mintable. That would be quite interesting. But they're available on, on Spotify, Deezer, RSS Feed, Amazon Music, Audible, iTunes, Apple and Overcast and more to come. So that should actually um, maybe bring more awareness to the project as well and actually bringing more people onto the platforms. So that's really good to see. So there you have it. So that's pretty much the October and the podcast updates. They haven't launched the November one yet. And I'm very aware that we're nearly in December. So let's see what they bring next. And if you're interested in catching up with all things relating to Web3 and music NFTs, then make sure you subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. And um, just on another note, I've updated my book to version two now. So that is available on Amazon. If you're interested, you can go to my website, nftmusicinfo.com, and you'll actually see links to that as well. And it was very important for me to update that book because that was six months ago now when I launched it on Amazon. It's called The Resource Guide to NFT Music Info by Barry Birch. And things have changed so much in six months. You know, we've got sounds potentially opening up 
xyz in the new year lots of changes with the platforms lots to update and lots of new platforms to actually include in the book and on this youtube channel i've featured over 40 platforms now some of them dedicated to music nfts others just have a feature music nfts so absolutely love the space still find it as exciting as ever even in this bear market you know there's still huge opportunity in the space and a fantastic community to be part of so yeah, make sure you give this video a like, comment if you've got anything interesting, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.